Hey friends, it's time for Gingy Fun, homemade Gingy DIYs. Hosted by Sarah of Juju DIY and Jackie of Crafting in Mimi's World. Links to the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. To start this DIY, I have a ornament set that I found at Target after Christmas. It's come, it comes with some um, basic colors, but I'm wanting to use pastel. I was inspired by a Kurt Adler gingerbread train, and I've got some gold and some glitter as well to go ahead and get this started. And my assistant wanted to pop in and join in the painting fun. He absolutely adores trains. Okay, I tried to remove the hanger from the caboose and I ended up cracking the top. It was totally glued down in there so now I've broken it so I'm gonna try to repair this and um, patch it with some air dry clay I also used the primary colors that came with this set, the red, black, brown, and some of my paint markers, the gold, like for Santa's belt buckle.
And then to start to add some of the frosted effect, I'm using a white 3D puffy paint just to go around the top of the engine and around the windows and some of the other spots that um, have like a raised edge, like the front part of the engine. To embellish the top of the coach, I'm going to add some pieces of uh, clay gumdrops that I made last Christmas that I have left over. I'm applying these with clear grip Gorilla Glue for a permanent hold. And then I have these pastel colored plastic beads that I found in the toy section of Dollar Tree. And I'm going to apply those all around the edge of the roof on the coach. And for the engine, I'm using a little resin cupcake from the Gnome a Valentine's collection they had uh, either last year or the year before using the same Gorilla Glue so it stays in place and then to add a nice like whipped frosting type effect to the top of the coach and around all the beads and gumdrops I'm adding a white 3D puff paint. To give a sugary glistening effect, I'm using Extreme Glitter from Fokar, and I will cover both the engine and the coach in this. And once this dries, I'm going to come back with my red and white twine to give a nice peppermint effect. And once that is all dry, then I will do a finishing coat to seal with Gloss Mod Podge.
And here's my completed Kurt Adler inspired gingerbread train. Can't even tell that I broke the top on the coach. It's very sweet and inviting, really delicious looking piece. I love the way it turned out. Let me know what do you think of this? Doesn't take a lot of money. You can take a very inexpensive piece of ceramic and give it little glitz and some paint and just use your imagination and turn it into whatever you want. I've got um, a DIY ornament from Dollar Tree. Faux snow, satin peppermint ribbon, a little bit of fluff, some acrylic painters, a couple of Dollar Tree gingerbread men. These are painted in the color nutmeg. A couple pieces of air dry clay that I shaped, some white paint, and my Gorilla Glue. So what I would like to do is I want to affix my gingerbread men in here but I'm going to stack them but first I'm going to go ahead and get their little features painted on So using this air dry clay, it's Sculpey. I get this at Walmart. So um, you can make a ball and then smush it down, let it dry and end up with these. So um, these are going to be my little peppermints. So I'm gonna use my red and green and just color these in to look like starlight mints and add them to my gingerbread ornament. To elevate the gingerbread men and the ornament, I'm going to use a bit of foam board just to give them just a little bit more height. So I'm just tracing around the bottom of the ornament to get that achieved. So I'll add the Gorilla Glue on one foot and then the hot glue on the other to get the gingerbread men to set up in the ornament. And then I'll take some extra little pieces of the foam board so that the candies on each side are elevated and are a little bit more visible.
to cover up the gray plastic at the bottom of the ornament, I'm just going to wrap it in some peppermint stripe ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree. I decided not to use the fiber fill in the bottom, so then I used a little tacky glue and spread it around with a paintbrush and sprinkled a little bit of the Dollar Tree faux snow to give more of a glistening snow effect in the bottom of the ornament. And then the final thing was just to remove the silver hanger and add the red and white twine to hang it with. And that was it. My little gingy stack was complete. Let me know what do you think of my sweet ornament. And here's another look at my delicious pastel gingerbread train. These were so much fun to create. Gingerbread is one of my most favorite Christmas themes. I hope you've enjoyed watching today. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's 100% free. I'll have a link to the fabulous playlist along with the host link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday.